everything sports related. Breaking news, fantasy advice, score updates, weekly thoughts, and more. This is the Sports Juice Network. What's going on, Sports Juice Network? What is going on, my Juice Tribe people? I got a good video for you today, all right? Listen, I don't know if you've been watching football lately, but the playoffs have been going on. And just last night, we had one of the best. Actually, I wouldn't say one of the best because it was like, kind of like a blowout. We had the AFC uh, matchup between the Tennessee Titans and the Baltimore Ravens. Now, what makes this game so special is the quarterback for the Tennessee Titans, Ryan Tannehill. Ryan Tannehill. Tana Hill, the former Miami Dolphins quarterback, the former Aggies receiver and quarterback. You got to believe the hype, people. Listen, Tana Hill is a star. Tana Hill should be an MVP. Tana Hill should be getting a nice little contract at the end of the season. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Ryan Tana Hill was drafted in 2012 as the eighth overall pick by the Miami Dolphins. Cool, right? He got a four-year, $12.6 million deal. He was like, yeah, I'm at the party. Yeah, yeah. Get money. Yeah, yeah. Get money. Yeah, that's what he was doing, right? Came out playing pretty good. Um, but we all know the Miami Dolphins haven't been great since Dan Marino. So it's been up and down for him, up and down. And it's not just him. It was the whole team. He's had several head coaches. He's had several offensive coordinators. Well, his last head coach was the guy who decided to trade the man why i have no idea but brian flores traded ryan Tannehill. now let's fast forward a little bit you get to the tennessee titans the tennessee titans are having an up and down year mariota's being very inconsistent as he was last year so you know what mike rebel made the head coaching decision that you know in week 12 we're going to replace uh marcus mariota with ryan Tannehill, and we're going to try to go win this thing so let's fast forward a little bit okay week six in um the Tennessee Titans were playing the Denver Broncos. Mariota's being very inconsistent. They decide to put Tannehill in. Um, he went 13 for 16 for, I believe, a 144 yards. They ended up losing that game. It was a road game, but they ended up losing 16 to 0. Everybody's like, all right, you know what? We threw Tannehill in the fire. We wasn't really expecting to win this game. Oh, well. Now, let's fast forward, okay? Tannehill has been bowling. Tannehill has been going off, man. Like, you take a guy, you trade him for a fourth and a seventh, he gets to the new team, he starts balling out, and guess what? He just beat the number one team in the NFL in the playoffs, and I mean by a lot. Yes, I'm talking about the Baltimore Ravens with Lamar Jackson, Mark Ingram, Willie Sneed, and all those other good guys on the team. He came in, he did his job, he beat them, now he's on his way to the AFC Championship game, and it's, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy because... Just last year, Ryan Tannehill was looking like a backup, and he was looking like a guy who was probably going to get cut, and his career was probably going to be over, all right? It took one coach to believe in him and say, you know what? I believe in you. Let's see what you can do. Tannehill said, bet. That's all he said. He said, bet. All right? He said, bet. I'm going to go out here. I'm going to win this game, and guess what? Playoffs it is. Now, keep in mind, this is his first playoffs ever. He's never been to the playoffs until he got to the Titans, and he's been balling in the playoffs. He took down Tom Brady. And he just took down Lamar Jackson, who's probably going to be the MVP of the season. He took down two good quarterbacks. Now, Tom Brady was probably the most impressive win because, honestly, even I was expecting the Titans were going to lose to the Patriots. I mean, it's the Patriots. They go to the Super Bowl every year. They cheat every year, and they win every year. I did not say cheat, but they win every year, right? Pretty much, if you're not on the bandwagon, you need to hop on right now. I'm telling you right now, don't sleep on the Tennessee Titans. They might fool around and make it to the Super Bowl with Ryan Tannehill as their quarterback. Ryan Tannehill, yeah, crazy, right? Marcus Mariota was their first first round pick, second overall behind Jameis Winston. He's on the bench. That should tell you something, right? Listen, I normally don't get behind teams when my team's out of the playoffs, so I'm out the bandwagon like I can. I'm pulling for Tannehill, man, because he wasn't dealt a good hand with the Dolphins at all. I mean, he didn't even have a team. He didn't have an offensive line. He had nobody. But you put him on a team like Tennessee Titans, and guess what? Cool, calm, and collective under pressure. My boy is balling. His story is absolutely insane. He's on a one-year contract with the Tennessee Titans. He can very well fool around, make it to the Super Bowl, or even where he's at now. They can lose next week. I don't know how. He, they can lose, for instance. All right, Let's just put it out there. They can lose. My boy is going to cash in. But can you imagine if they make it to the Super Bowl with Ryan Tannehill as their quarterback? This man is about to get the biggest payday I've ever seen of a one-year quarterback. And he didn't even start at the beginning of the season. Could you imagine if he started at the beginning of the season? Could you imagine whether Tennessee Titans, they might be number one overall. I mean, who's going to stop him? You got Derrick Henry? You got a monster. 
in the backfield, a monster. Derrick Henry is like 6'3", 250 something. That's a big boy. Derrick Henry is a big boy. And then you got Ryan Tannehill in the back. And I'm gonna tell you, they are looking really, really good. Uh, it's calm down a little bit, all right? So yeah, this video is about Ryan Tannehill, man. And the crazy thing is, Ryan Tannehill is only 31 years old. He had a lot of football left in him. He can very well, like I said, have a big payday in the offseason, whether that's going to another team that needs a quarterback or whether that's re-signing with the Tennessee Titans and they kicking Mariota to the curve because Mariota's contract is about to be up. And I don't they might keep him as a backup. I don't know. He'll be a very expensive backup, but this could very well become Ryan Tannehill's team. Like the city is behind him. The state is behind him. All he got to do is go out there and continue to execute like he's been doing. So here's just a little background on Ryan Tannehill since I'm spilling all the bottom. Listen, I like Ryan Tannehill. I always did like Ryan Tannehill. I liked him when he was at Texas A&M. Um, He's 31 years old. He is from Lubbock, Texas, which I'm not sure what's in Lubbock besides Texas Tech. He went to Big Spring High School in, I guess, Big Spring. I don't I don't really know. Okay, like I said, he went to Texas A&M for college. He was the eighth overall pick in the 2012 draft by the Miami Dolphins. He was the NFL passer rating leader back in 2019, which was <laughs> last year. His career stats, all right. He has, he has 3,100 passes. He has... 2,000 completed passes and a completion percentage of 63.5. It's not the best, but it's still good, right? Um, his touchdown to interception ratio was 145 to 81. His passer rating is 89.8. Again, not the best, but it's pretty good. The best way I can put this is in college, Ryan Tannehill wasn't even a quarterback. He was a receiver. And before that, he was a defensive back. My guy can do some stuff. He's like a joke of all trades, man. Look, long story short, you need to get behind Ryan Tannehill because they can very well make it to the Super Bowl and they can very well win the Super Bowl. All I'm saying is, if you don't know, now you know. Other than that, this was a fast, quick, short video. I just had to bring it to you because I watched the game yesterday and I saw how amazing they played. And I'm just like, yo yo like who i mean besides the chiefs and the texans like who gonna stop this team because like i said they got a monster in the back uh i guess i guess that's it um this has been another episode of the sports juice network where we sit we talk about sports we drank on some juice that i did not decide to get today because i don't have nothing okay yeah whatever and we have a good time so be sure to follow your boy on instagram keep up to date on all the stuff that's going on i'm gonna start bringing you more and more videos i say that every single time i know i don't i'm very busy i'm a very busy person but i try my best because i love talking about sports so i'm gonna continue talking about sports i know i'm talking super 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 fast right now but catch your boy in the next episode thank you for watching yo